in this quick video, what I wanted to share is a way to add subtotals to a list. Now there's no particular order in this states list, but what I want to do is I want to add up all the WA, Tasmania, etc. Uh, and create a subtotaled list. Now what a lot of people don't realize is you can do that in an automated way. So let's see how we're going to do that. So let's start the timer. Now the first thing I'm going to do is sort by state. So the, we can just go right click, sort, and I'm just going to go A to Z. And so that's the states sorted. Now I'm going to click in the data ribbon. And on the far right hand side, I'll just move the timer down a bit here, is subtotal. So as long as you're anywhere in this, click subtotal. And we are going to add up the quantity and the amount column. So just make sure you've ticked those. Uh, and we're going to do a sum. That's the nine times out of ten. You do have some more options, but uh, basically we're just going to do a sum. That's it. Click OK. And we now have, we can widen this a bit, a subtotaled list. Uh, now I will stop it there. Um, and I'll just show you a couple of things with this. What's been added is the subtotal function in these two columns. So you can see subtotal. Subtotal is really good. It's, it's actually preferred. It's the preferred function for subtotaling. Because if you look at the very last entry here, that's also a subtotal. And look, it's adding up or the whole range here. Now, the subtotal function ignores other subtotals. So all of these other subtotals in the range are being ignored, uh, even though it's including that whole range there. So that's the way subtotal works. The 9 at the front uh, is defining uh, the sum calculation. Also, you may notice on the left hand side here, we've got some numbers and these icons. So if you click the number 1, you actually uh, show the sub the, the grand total. If you click the number 2, you show the individual uh, subtotals. And if you click the 3, you show all of them. Now you can click these uh, these minuses individually. So if you only want to show some of them, you can use those and also the plus sign. Uh, this is called grouping in Excel uh, and it's row grouping. So that's been automatically added uh, as part of the subtotaling that you've put in. Now you can take it out. So if you click back into here, um, I, I suppose I should start the timer to do this. Um, to get it out, you click back in here, you click on subtotal again, and you say remove all. And that puts it back to the way it was, and then I can stop it again. So there you go. So if you need it to say print, um, you can do the print. Then you can put it back to the way it was without the, uh, the subtotals and the grouping in there. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.